solve large intractable problems. It's a new venture altogether. Your brain is a wild horse there. Because remember, writing is not a team sport. You are not selling horse carriages when there are cars. I want to be known only as a trusted advisor. More like a tourist. Play to Potential Podcast. I think just getting into the book, uh, Raghu, um, you talk about the five Pandava archetypes. Mm. Uh, and you say that uh, each archetype is a different type of power that we can unleash, yeah. each one of us. You also talk about the distinction between an archetype and a stereotype. That's right. Which uh, I found really illuminating. So can you talk about the five archetypes for the purpose of listeners? Just uh, paint a picture yeah. of what those are and also make the distinction between the yeah, you, uh, you were watching the television series, na, Mahabharata. Yes. If I'm not mistaken, Tara Singh comes as Bhima. Come on. You might be right, correct. Yeah, I yes. think so. Correct. I'm trying yeah, to... that's a stereotype. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That Bhima is this big guy and, you know, he's got this... No, Dara Singh actually comes as uh, Hanuman in Ramayana. In Ramayana. Okay, that's also a stereotype <laughs> in any case. Whatever. Yeah, Bhima was somebody right? else. Yeah. yeah, but Bhima will be one of these big guys. Yeah, It can't be anybody else, right? Now, that is a stereotype. Mm -hmm. Okay. And <clears throat> the archetype has nothing to do with this external form. Mm -hmm. Okay, the archetype are the essential characteristics. Hmm. of any figure. Now, if you take Bhima, the essential characteristics are a love for adventure, mm -hmm. passion, right? He loves Duryodhana Draupadi the most of all the brothers, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so these kind of essential characteristics are the archetypes. Mm -hmm. Now, when you boil something like this down to the archetype, then Bhima can be inside you, Bhima can be inside me. I don't have to have rippling muscles to be Bhima. Mm -hmm. When I awaken this part of me, which has passion and adventure, Bhima inhab inhabits me, mm -hmm. right? When I invoke or evoke the part of me that loves order, that loves stability and uses all my energies to establish that, I'm a Yudhishthira, right? Mm -hmm. When I invoke compassion, and service in me. I'm a Nakula. Hmm. Right? And when I invoke love of knowledge, na, curiosity, I'm a Sahadeva. And when I can confront the paradoxes of life, yeah, the Dharma Sankatas of life, hmm. the dilemmas of life, and ask deep existential questions, I'm an Arjuna. Hmm. So the moment you understand them as archetypes, they're in all of us. Yeah. Mm. And it's the book, it suggests, it's, it's very clear in the book itself no? that it ought to be read like this. Mm. Okay, there are introductory things in the, uh, in the book starts, right? Where there are questions between Vyasa and Brahma, why should I write this book? So he says, write it so people can reflect. Mm. And he also says, write the book, you know, replete with the rasas of life. Mm. Because people cannot understand the truth from the Upanishads and all these things. Mm. But if you write in a way that is evocative of the rasas of living, they'll understand. So in the Mahabharata is, you know, one of the most important uh, psychologists in India, Girindra Shekhar Bose, has called the Mahabharata the most complete compendium of case studies. Mm. <laughs> right? So any human situation, you'll find a story which reflects the human situation. There'll be characters there who exemplify different types of behaviors. Right? So the whole book yeah, is situations where there are different types of behavior, dharmic behavior, behavior that is not dharmic, and what happens. And what I find fascinating as well is 
each person is shown in several shades of grey. Of course. And not as a... Yeah, no right, monoliths. Yeah. No, no right, no wrong. No right, Every wrong. Every person under different That's circumstances. Right. Can evoke people. a dharmic or an adharmic response. Yeah. Which, which makes yeah. it... Like negative. talking about the uh, archetype, na? Mm. the Bhima and the Duryodhana are the same archetype. Mm. Mm. Right? And it's set beautifully in the Mahabharata. Na? They both study with the same teacher, mm. Balrama. Both are Gadadharis. Mm. Right? And they're both powerful people. Mm. Yeah. And the way uh, Bhima brings alive these capabilities and the way Duryodhana brings them alive are very different. 